The good news is that shaken baby syndrome is clearly preventable. When your baby cries, check to see if she is hungry, wet, tired, too warm, or cold. Perhaps your baby simply needs to be cuddled or maybe the baby's getting sick. Sometimes babies cry for no apparent reason. If you try to respond to everything the baby might need and he or she is still fussy, you need a plan for coping with his or her crying. It's okay to place the baby in a safe environment such as a crib and let the baby cry while you go to the next room to calm down. Check on the baby every few minutes to make sure he or she is fine. You can call a friend or a relative to either share your frustrations or arrange for that person to come and relieve you for an hour or two. Listening to music, exercising, or trying some other calming activity for a few minutes until you feel in control again is another way to prevent shaken baby syndrome. It is extremely important that everyone who takes care of the baby should have this information. Mother and father, grandparents, relatives, occasional babysitters, and your daycare provider need to know it is never okay to shake a baby. Share strategies for staying calm if the baby becomes fussy, and be sure to let them know if things are becoming tense, that it is okay to call you to come and relieve them of their responsibility if they feel overwhelmed. The following symptoms may indicate that a baby has been a victim of shaken baby syndrome. Change in behavior, irritability, lethargy, sleepiness or loss of consciousness, if they are pale or if their skin begins turning blue, vomiting, convulsions or seizures, poor eating, not breathing or apnea. If you notice these signs, it's critical that the baby receive medical attention immediately. In the years since Skipper's death, Peggy and George have devoted themselves to spreading the word about shaken baby syndrome to parents and providers. They founded the Skipper Initiative and chose daffodils to symbolize their campaign. They hope the daffodil will act as a reminder of the potentially serious consequences of shaken baby syndrome. The death of a child is an overwhelming loss for any family. No one ever wakes up and thinks, today I'll shake my baby. It is usually the momentary lapse of judgment and control that leads a frustrated adult to shake an infant. Plan ahead for what you will do when your baby is fussy and make sure you plan with everyone who care for your precious little one. A few minutes sharing these simple suggestions for keeping calm could prevent a lifetime of tragedy and heartbreak.